Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're looking at the 2003 AP Calculus AB free response questions, and we're looking at question three here. So the rate of fuel consumption in gallons per minute recorded during airplane flight is given by a twice differentiable func and strictly increasing function r of time t. The graph of r in a table selected values r of t, where the time from zero to 90 minutes are shown above. Use the data from the table to find approximate for the derivative uh, r prime 45. Show the computation of your answering kit units of measure. Okay, so I want the slope. So this is r and this is 45. I want the slope here. To do the slope approximation, I'm going to say I'm going to use a secant line slope because I have the data points at uh, 40 and 50 and those surround. So I'm going to do r of 50 minus r of 40 divided by 50 minus 40. So r of 50 was 55 minus 40 over 50, 10. So that's uh, 15 over 10, 1.5. Now what are the units? Well, this is gallons per minute and this is minutes. So that's gallons per minute squared. Or you could say gallons per minute per minute if you wanted to, okay? Um, the rate of fuel consumption is increasing fastest as time t equals 45 minutes. What is the value of r double prime of 45? And explain your reasoning. Um, well, if it's increasing the fastest, um, right here, wait, the rate of fuel consumption, it's, that means um, this slope is the steepest there. The rate of fuel cons consumption is increasing. So the slope is steepest here. Um, that means R prime is maximum. If R prime is maximum by the second derivative test, R pro it has to be concave down, right? Because for a maximum, what they're saying is R prime, like the interpretation of rate of fuel and consumption increasing the fastest. Increasing is the slope. The slope is the, the biggest. That's what they're saying. R prime is the biggest at this point. For R prime to be a maximum, um, um, oh, I need to find what the value of R prime, double prime here is. So R prime is maximum. Oh, that means the, so if R prime is a maximum, R double prime has to be zero, this would be zero. And the reason this is zero is because this is the derivative of this, right? The slope zero when r prime is max. And this equals the second derivative. So you would say the slope of r prime, which is maximum, um, sorry, r prime is maximum. So the slope of r prime has to be zero. And the slope of r prime is r double prime. Hope that that kind of made sense. You kind of reason it out, but r prime is maximum, so the derivative of r prime also has has to be zero there. Approximate the value of the integral using a left Riemann sum with five sub intervals indicated by the data and tables. A numerical approximation. Okay, so here we're going to do a rectangle, and we're going to use a left sub intervals. So you know they they give you a nice job. You can just draw this draw these rectangles automatically. Uh, just that. So we're doing this rectangle. It's clearly an underestimate, right? You can just see from the graph because the because the graph is increasing. Okay. So um, this is a nice graph graphical representation. So the width of the first interval is thirty. So you do thirty times um, the height. We're going to use the left point. That's twenty. Thirty times twenty plus this interval is ten. And this height I use the left point is thirty. This interval here is also is um, also 10, and its height is 40. This interval here is 20, and it, the height is the left point, which is 55. And this interval is also 20, and its height is 65. So let's see, 30 
times 20 plus 10 times 30 plus 400 10 times 40 plus um, 20 times 55 plus 20 times 65 3700 so we got 3700 the units of this are gallons because the, this is a uh, per minutes and this is gallons per minute when I multiply the two I just get gallons Uh, it is also a less than, it's less than, or an underestimate. Because, and there, usually you want to say it, uh, it's an underestimate is because R of T is increasing. If it were decreasing, it would be an overestimate. Okay, between the minutes, explain the meaning of the area in terms of fuel consumption of the planes. It is the amount of fuel used between zero and B minutes, or B minutes into the flight, I guess. Explain the meaning of this, of the plane. It would be the average this one would be the average fuel consumption rate for zero for B minutes. Okay, because this is the average value. This is the average value formula. Okay, let's look at the answers. Um, one point five gallon per minute squared. Zero since R probability is a maximum. Uh, this approximation is less because the graph of R is increasing on the interval. We said that. And this is the total amount of fuel consumed for the first B minutes. And this is the average value of the rate of fuel consumption during the first B minutes. So, hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.